Dominique, um, we're in a national crisis, a worldwide crisis with the coronavirus, but um, it would appear that both of you were enjoying your time um, in cycling of late. Um, t take us through, take us through the last few months of, of competition for you and training. What that's been like, and of course now it's all come to a halt. Um, yeah, I mean, training was definitely going well, um, and we were both happy with the decision to move to the States in January. Um, Dominique was in Dominican for the seven-day stage race, and I had a couple big uh, stage races out of the sun and for Southern Thailand. Um, which I was really happy with my performance and looking forward to the season, um, but obviously with everything that's happening, it's... Uh, yeah, we would put that on hold for the moment and, and really focus on our health and hopefully Bermuda, um, you know, getting through this. Dom, for you, seven-day stage race, um, remarkable finishes day in and day out. How did you manage that? Because it, it, you had come from a few days of racing just prior to that and then to go into a seven-day stage race of a challenging event. Yeah, um... It was definitely the hardest race I've done in quite a while. Um, it was just knowing, like just using my experience and trying to go as easy as possible throughout the, each stage until the end. Although the first day, me and Caden were in a break for 70 miles. So that was, that set it up pretty well, but I was hurting after that. I uh, was trying to do my best to minimize the fatigue as much as possible. And then sprint at the end. Yeah. What what has been training like for you both in in, in Arizona? Because it's it's different. It's it, it's more space. It's more time to do a lot more miles. Um, different scenery because you, you do get a chance to see some of it, don't you? Yeah. They um well mainly here it's like Mount Lemon is the main place where we train. It's like a twenty one mile climb. So we normally do most of our interval work there. Because it's less traffic and it's a steady grade, so you can look down at your formula and just do the effort that you're supposed to do that you could and see. You. So it's been a right We have done a few rides, like just out in the country, pretty much, but sometimes the cars come pretty close, so it gets pretty scary. <laughs> Caitlin, it must be a little frustrating because you were you were doing so well uh, and looking forward to probably being picked up. This stoppage, how much does it affect you mentally? Uh, you know, I'm not that frustrated. I um, the, the only thing that I've kind of struggled with is not being home um, and being so far away at this time. But in terms of training, like I, I have a trainer here so I can keep up my fitness. So it's really just a matter of staying positive and hoping that, you know, I, I think the health of uh, the world at the moment is more important than any race or, you know, anything that I, uh, my goals in cycling. So I think as long as we all get through this, um, you know, as, as best we can, I'll, there's, you know, the other side of it, I can start focusing again on, um, you know, on cycling and training and getting picked up by a team and all of that. But at the moment, I'm not, yeah, I'm just staying positive. What is, it, what is it like where you guys are situated? What is the atmosphere around you guys? Uh, it's it's a bit weird. Sometimes, like, we have gone out to ride, like, by ourselves, and we see, like, on the bike path here, now all of a sudden there's more people because people are supposed to be working from home or, like, they're not working. So there's actually more people out than it was before, which is a bit weird. And I just think here... They're not taking it as serious. Like, you know, in Bermuda, we've watched all the uh, broadcasts from uh, the uh, premier press conferences. And, you know, Bermuda's taking it really serious and it's, like, really going well. well. I think they're doing a really good job. And, like, I think in the U.S. they need to start taking it more serious. What was the fitness levels prior to this? Uh, I mean, I was definitely the highest that I've been um, prior to this, but, you know, it hasn't come down that much. And 
with the coaching that I have now, it's, you know, and Dominic being with me, it's, I I haven't found it that hard to get my fitness back up um, or keep it up there. So, uh, for me, it's better than it was in the winter, like still, but uh, obviously, like now, like, I'm not as motivated as I used to be like a few years ago to like train the long hours that it takes to get to that level where I was but I'm actually I feel in a pretty good spot and then you said motivated how much of the results of you that you've had of late motivate you to want to go even further hugely I mean it's it's the people that I'm racing against and the, my results especially at Tour of Southern Highlands you know I felt like wow, I could really do this. Um, and so it's just a matter of remembering uh, that I, I can do this and sort of keeping my focus right now while I just have the trainer and, and um, you know, looking towards the bigger competitions that will hopefully start up again next year. I see that uh, Connor White has started a little uh, online cycling. I saw your name in there, Caitlin. Um, <laughs> What, what is that like? Because uh, in speaking with Tyler Butterfield, they're doing getting ready to do virtual Ironman. So is that similar to yeah. that? Um, I mean, it's definitely not that, but um, it's it's hard. The, you, um, the way that it's set up, you, you know, you're not next to people, so you can't see when they're attacking and stuff. So you really have to pay attention to all the numbers that are on the screen and, you know, the movement of the avatars and all of that to make sure you don't get dropped because it's a lot harder to get back um, once you have been dropped. Uh, so, but it's fun. It's nice to feel connected to Bermuda and, you know, Bermudian cyclists again, and hopefully that will keep going and we can get Dominique on the trainer. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, Dominique, when you look at the numbers, it's a bit, it's a bit frustrating, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, I hate it. <laughs> you're, you're the actual person. You like to be out in the, uh, yeah. and doing it. I would much rather race somebody in real life. <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't, virtual racing isn't, isn't for me. He but, likes to draft too much. I've been told the shoulder. <laughs> We're about a month away or so, or just over two months away from uh, the Bermuda Day Half Marathon. Uh, and of course, the the Sinker Pack of Memorial was, um, cycle race. Uh, did you guys have any thoughts of returning for that race, or you were just planning to stay and and compete overseas? Well, I had planned to. We had planned to come home in May. We still have a flight at the moment, um, or at the beginning of May to come home. But obviously, with the flight cancellations, we don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, so we're really just playing it day by day. I'd love to be there for May 24th, yeah. you know, it's, it's the, the biggest race of the year for any Bermudian, so I would love to be there, but, um, you know, I, who knows if Bermuda Day uh, takes place um, or in the way that it has in the past, every time. so we'll see. What's your thoughts, Dominique? Yeah, um, before I was looking forward because we were coming back, and then so I was like getting ready for that. And then now with obviously uh, COVID nineteen and everything's being shut down, I it's highly unlikely that it's going to happen this year. So I'm like putting it back in my mind. But uh, if it does happen, it'll be amazing because then obviously the world's recovered. So uh, yeah, I would, love, I would love to race it. All right, I always well, love that. Well, you guys stay safe. Uh, we'll stay in touch. <laughs> See how you're making out. Um, keep training, keep the spirits up, and hopefully all goes well and you're back out riding, racing, racing, Dominique, racing. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs>